Okay, welcome back, and heads up, here it comes! Ah, uh, you don't even get the proper boss music yet, but never mind. Here's the first boss, it's a big robot scorpion thing. Uh, let's just attack it. So, I'm gonna cast Bolt on this because mechanical creatures like this robot are weak against electricity because it overloads their circuits or something fantasy sounding. So it should do quite a lot of damage. There we go, 92 damage. Rifle. Ow. So you're being shot with a massive rifle like that would usually just kill a man instantly, but... Ah, we get to see Cloud's Limit Break for the first time. Braver. Pucha! Wow, 246. That's uh, a lot. Surge Scope, he's just uh, sussing Cloud out there. So yeah, the combat in this game is more of a strategic thing, it's not based on reactions or anything, it's more about making tactical decisions and... You know, later on you get healing spells, so you need to sort of keep your characters healed up and... You do get more options of attacks and things to do later on, so it does get more tactical. It's, uh, I like this kind of game, I like having to think about what to do. I'm going to use a potion on Cloud because he's a bit low on health. Barrett, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's going to counter-attack with its laser. So... That confused me when I was a child. I don't know if it did anyone else. But I always thought that he was saying, Attack while its tail's up. Like, actually saying, you should attack it while its tail's up. Or it's going to attack with its tail laser. I'll show you what happens if you do attack with, while its tail's up. You get the tail laser. <laughs> Which does a lot of damage. Ah! Just use a potion to heal up there. <laughs> uh, what he's actually saying is, if you attack while it's tails up, then it's going to attack with its tail laser. A bit of a, a weird uh, translation. But uh, maybe it was just me misunderstanding. Uh, but the translation, because this is originally a Japanese game, the translation can be a bit... Uh, janky sometimes. Uh, I think they've cleaned it up a little bit. Oops, why did I not cast bolt there? I'm not paying attention. I think they've cleaned it up a little bit for this newer version which they've put out on PS4, but we'll see. There we go, it's dead. Killed the first boss. Time to celebrate. Ah, they both leveled up. And we got an assault gun. That's a weapon for Barrett. I guess the gun on his arm is sort of detachable and you can put other guns on. Ten minutes to detonation. Ah! Right, so let's just give Barrett his gun real quick and then we'll get the hell out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's make like a tree and sway gently in the autumn breeze. I'm sure that's how the saying goes. Right. So, to explain some uh, deeper tactics, Barrett is a ranged character in that he fires from a distance. And so, you'll notice that the, uh, the enemies are sort of. The thing is stood like in the front row, and then the others are stood behind it. So, if Cloud goes and attacks one of these, he's going to do less damage because, I don't know, because they're further away. Whereas for Parrot, it doesn't matter because he's shooting from a distance. Uh, and our own party also has this uh, rose system. So, I can actually go in here and put Barrett in the back row. He'll now take less damage, but he'll still be able to do the same amount of damage. Whereas Cloud still needs to stay in the front row to do the appropriate amount of damage. See? It's all very interesting, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> right, so, saved it again just in case we don't make it out in eight and a half minutes. Good thing Cloud remembered how to climb up ladders. <laughs> what if he was just stood at the bottom of the ladder It's like, Hey Jesse, how did you uh, climb up the ladder again? Uh, She's like, God, you... 
idiot! Press X in front of the ladder! Ah! Oh, she's stuck. You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. There we go. I'm not sure, but I think if you actually make it all the way to the top and out of the reactor, it doesn't actually let you leave because, like, I think they're stood at the front going, Jesse hasn't made it out yet. And you're like, oh, great, I've got two minutes left and. Uh, <laughs> Let's get up. Uh... Wow, did we make. Oh, almost made it the entire way without a random battle. Shoot these fools. Let's just cast ice on this guy just to. I don't need to, but. Ha! Now you're dead and cold. Uh, is now really the time to be celebrating? We've got like seven minutes until this place blows sky high. Uh, uh, the group named Avalanche was wiped out earlier today after they spent too long celebrating after they set up a bomb. They didn't make it out in time. Because they were too busy showing off their sweet sword twirling moves. Beam gun. Which really didn't hurt much at all. So I know this game does look quite primitive because, you know, it is an old game, but they have actually. Like, compared to the original PlayStation 1 version, this actually does look pretty smooth. I'm quite impressed with what they've done to it, to be honest. So we had six minutes left, but uh, if we watch what happens here... Oh, it blows up now! Ooh, big explosion. Yeah, so... Doesn't matter that we had six minutes left, because it was just going to blow up then anyway. Good thing we got out with that time remaining. Good old... This is sort of like an action movie trope, isn't it? It's like, oh, you've got this much time left, and then they spend much longer or much shorter, and then, oh, it blows up just as they're running out so they can look cool while they, you know, jump away from an explosion. So, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, now everyone get back. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing here. They seem to, like, blow up this little house here. It's like, you've just had a massive explosion, but uh, maybe the explosion wasn't big enough and you just needed to do a little mini explosion to meet the explosion quota. You doing okay there, Wedge? Alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous, or rendezvous as the French would say. It's Sector 8 station. Spill it up and get on the train. Yes. Hey hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Yeah, getting paid. So we just blew up a big massive power plant. Uh, but I'm sure it was in the name of good, you know. As I say, Shinra's sucking out all the life's energy to give, you know, power to people. It's kind of like what we do in real life. I guess it's got some, uh, you know, allusions to uh, environmental issues. <coughs> Excuse me. That's yeah, the lady from the beginning. What happened? Uh, nothing. Hey. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. I will buy one. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've just uh, blown up a massive reactor and, you know, we probably caused a lot of destruction in the process. I mean, big explosion like that, you know, you don't get something like that with, I mean, look, this place is, there's like debris everywhere. So, uh, blow up a power plant, support your local community and buy a flower, okay? 
wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. Oh, it's us. So it's a bit of a moral dilemma, causing massive destruction, but uh, you know, we're trying to save the planet here. Are we doing the right thing? Who knows? Cloud doesn't care, he's just here to get paid. Hey, you there. Uh-oh. Uh, later. Halt. Later. Wow, they're really bad shots. <laughs> later. He's surrounded. Uh, yeah, the game actually ends here. They shoot Cloud, he dies, and it's the end. But he doesn't have time to be messing around with these guys. Whee. <laughs> so those graphics there are sort of the in-between the uh, Lego men and the nice CG movie cutscenes. It was a nice movie cutscene, but he still looked a little bit like a, you know, little cute character. Cloud never came. Cloud. Think he was killed? No way. Barrett has a lot of faith in Cloud. Cloud. Oh, what's that noise? Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Oof. If you all weren't such screw ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? <laughs> he's, uh, he's just an angry man, is Barrett. <laughs> Well, this isn't at all tense. Oh, it's Cloud! He's alive! Yay! Cloud! Looks like I'm a little late. Heh heh heh. Smooth bastard. <laughs> you're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. <laughs> See, I don't think I've ever seen this used in a game before where they sort of like use the kind of cartoon style like just gibberish symbols to denote swearing. Uh, but because it's just gibberish I always read it as just like uh, But through the power of uh, video editing I can make it go like this. <laughs> Having everyone worried like that you don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of you. That's coming out of your share, hot shot. Hot shot. <laughs> Wake up. Uh, I mean, it looks like he was awake. Are you okay, Barrett? He's just like. You know, randomly hitting boxes and telling awake people to wake up. Do you get hit on the head by some debris? I don't know. Hey Cloud, you were great back there. Ah, Wedge, Cloud's biggest fanboy. Hey, 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 Cloud, we'll do better even... We'll do even better next time. I don't know why uh, Biggs just uh, messed up his line there. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh yeah, because I was just about, you know, Cloud's just like... He jumped on top of a train and then like flipped into the train through that door. But oh, oof, he might fall out the door. Oh Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Ah, see, he's a ladies man. He didn't have a soot all over his face, he just wanted to stroke his cheeks. Nothing back here. Uh, jump into the screen. Last train out of Sector 8 station, last stop is Sector 7, blah blah blah, train stuff. Flump. This is why I like. <laughs> this kind of sounds like some sort of 50s 
game show host. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Thanks, 50s train man. Huh, this is my house to make yourselves at home. That's kind of sad. It's just painting a picture. We're in the slums. It's the, you know, the poor part of town. What's up, Barrett? Start acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. So angry. Please don't bother the other passengers. Hmm. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous. And me too. I mean, I think you do. You're probably going to be in the papers tomorrow blowing up a power plant. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? Uh, it's a map of the Mega Rail system. Yeah, sounds really interesting as he inches away. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Probably shouldn't be talking about how you like bombs and stuff when a reactor has just blown up. It might arouse suspicion. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 to 10,000 scale. <laughs> Numbers are hard. <laughs> the top plate is about 50 metres above ground. A main pillar supports a plate in the centre, and there are other support pillars, built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. You know, even whispering, you probably should just not say it at all, because someone could hear and be like, oh, it was those guys. They did it. They blew up the reactor. It's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight. The eight reactors provide me to go with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer, them to, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. And also, it sounds really cool and sci-fi. Phew! Look what's next. Look, oh great, there's more. Mm -hmm. This is the route the trains are on, the route spirals around the main pillar, blah, trains. Uh, mm -hmm. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. So basically, the government's spying on you. Also like real life today. Ooh. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Cloud, yours says Farmaster on it. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. <laughs> we're almost back now. What a relief. Okay, and we're done talking about trains. Great. Just talk to her one more time. I know. Next time, I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. Okay then, I'll put a little extra effort in and make it with a bang. Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If that plane weren't there, we could see the sky. So yeah. Midgar has... like... a lower level and an upper level. The upper level is held by pillars and completely blocks the sky from the lower level. And as you can imagine, you know, all the lower class citizens, the poor, they all live in the lower level, which is basically the slums. And then all the rich stuffy folk live on the upper level. A floating city, pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprise. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that pizza. The people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Wow, surprisingly uh, philosophical. Hmm. 
Yeah, so a pretty grim city. For so, you know, we shouldn't really be drawing attention to ourselves, but hey, let's just jump off the train. Yay, we blew up a reactor! Yo, get over here, y'all, all 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 y'all. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. I mean, that explosion seemed to work, so there's no reason to make it any bigger than that. It's not like, as I said earlier, there's any sort of explosion quarter to meet, but alright. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. And we will move out next time. Bye.